Minutes, the National Cutting Horse Association's weekly show that brings you news and information from the cutting horse industry in the time it takes to watch a cutting horse run. I'm NCHA Director of Marketing, Julie Bryant, and with me today, it's my pleasure to have Ernie Butte Miller, NCHA President and our Interim Executive Director. It's so good to be here. Well, Ernie, June's going to be a big month for NCHA with AQHA and CHA Weekend coming up, and Ty and I have mentioned it over the past few weeks, so what makes this event so important? Well, it's an opportunity for the entire association to get together and enjoy great cutting horse activities, also have a lot of family time, and really enjoy the camaraderie of each other. It gives all 25 areas an opportunity to really expose the best that we have in cutting. Well, I understand there's going to be probably around 5,000 of our members who are going to take part over this coming weekend. The American Quarter Horse Association is a big part of what makes that happen. How does AQHA get involved in this? AQHA actually gives $3,000 in added money to each of the 25 areas in helping produce this event. And it also gives all the cutters an opportunity to qualify for the AQHA World Championship Show. Well, I understand the purses at the AQHA World Championship show are pretty big, some of the largest that we have um, in cutting, so that's good news. Also coming up in June, we have the convention. Now, for someone who's never attended the convention before, what can they expect and how can they get involved? Well, the, the convention is a great opportunity for everybody to get together and share their views. It's also an opportunity for all the members to attend the open sessions of the standing committee meetings hear the agenda items, voice their opinions, and gives them an opportunity to get involved. All right, so if somebody decides they would like to come, what do they need to do in order to uh, register for the event? And is there a way for them to see those agendas before they get there? Yes, the agendas will be on the website as of May 31st. And to register for the convention, it's on our home homepage. Just scroll down to where it says 2013 convention, click on, and you'll be able to follow the guidelines from there. Well, Ernie, we hope a lot of our members will choose to attend the NCHA convention this year. And speaking of members, we have had some severe storms move throughout the area, uh, not only this area, but areas throughout the Midwest. Uh, what have you learned about some of our members who have been affected? Probably the ones that were affected the hardest were Lynn and Benita Lasky. They did take some tremendous damage to their residents and their facilities. And one of the things that is, impresses me so much about our NCHA family is how they get together to help one another. And I do think that the recovery there will be, though maybe long, will be, will be sufficient. And I really am proud of the association that we have together, how we take care of one another. Well, if you want to learn more about how you can help some of the folks that have been affected by the severe storms, you can go to the NCHA Facebook page, and that would be facebook.com, National Cutting Horse Association, and you can get information on how you can help the Laskies directly or some other efforts that are going on to assist people in more Oklahoma. Well, that's it for this week's Two and a Half Minutes. On behalf of John Deere, we'd like to thank you for watching and make your next Two and a Half Minutes a great one.